Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep, and today we're going to delve into the world of key performance indicators, or KPIs, specifically for facility managers. If you've ever wondered about the role of KPIs within your operation, then stick around. We'll cover exactly what KPIs are, how they differ from metrics, and why they're vital for your organization's success. We'll also uncover the top 14 KPIs that every facility manager should be tracking. Let's get started. So you're a facility manager and you're wondering about your primary key performance indicators or KPIs. Well, you're in the right place. KPIs are sets of data that provide you, the facility manager, with crucial information about your facility. They can help you identify problem areas and make plans for improved reliability, sustainability, safety, and regulatory compliance. Now you might be thinking, aren't KPIs the same as metrics? Not quite. While facilities management metrics are single points of data with no objective in mind, KPIs are measurements that show how well a facility is meeting its objectives. To put it simply, a metric might be the total maintenance hours, while a KPI would be planned maintenance versus reactive maintenance. Understanding and tracking your KPIs is crucial. They provide concrete data to show exactly how your facility is performing which can lead to important discussions and inform maintenance planning. Over time, KPIs can help your organization set targets and meet them with clear, data-driven planning. Now let's dive into the 14 primary KPIs that every facilities manager should keep track of. First up, we have the Employee Satisfaction Score. An unhappy workforce might indicate underlying issues that are affecting productivity or even unsafe working conditions. Second, there's workforce productivity. If it's low, it could mean there's something hindering productivity, or it could be a result of low morale. Third, we have work order resolution times. If work orders are taking too long to complete, it could be a sign of poor planning or obstacles in the process. Fourth, there's gross facilities management costs per square foot or meter. This can give you an idea of how much budget you need to keep the facility running. Fifth, we look at the ratio of planned maintenance versus reactive maintenance. If you're spending more time on reactive maintenance, you may not be keeping up with necessary preventive tasks. Sixth, consider the number of employee complaints. A high number of complaints could indicate poor management practices, unsafe work conditions, or other issues. Seventh, there's maintenance costs per square foot or meter. Tracking this number over time can provide insight into whether maintenance processes are improving or deteriorating. Eighth, we have operations costs per square foot or meter. This can give you an idea of how well your equipment is maintained, how efficiently your workforce is utilized, and what budgetary changes might need to take place. Ninth, consider utility costs per square foot or meter. An abnormally high cost could warrant switching to more efficient assets or tuning up utility equipment. Tenth, there's cleaning costs per square foot or meter. If the cost seems to be increasing too much over time, there may be an issue with how cleaning is being performed. Eleventh, look at security costs per square foot or meter. Tracking this can help you plan the amount of budget needed to keep your property, assets, and employees secure. Twelfth, track reactive maintenance versus preventative maintenance over time. Favorable trends show that your team is staying on top of preventive maintenance tasks. Thirteenth, consider the money spent on new equipment versus repairs. Ideally, you want to be spending your budget on new equipment and upgrades rather than on replacements and repairs. And last but not least, the 14th KPI is the average completion time or response time for work submitted. The time to respond to work orders and the time from open to close is always very important. Now, where can you get the data to measure these KPIs? Here are some common sources. Your FM information system, finance system, staff, internal surveys, utility companies, service companies, vendors, building automation system, energy management system, and other internal systems. Remember, understanding and tracking your KPIs is crucial for the success of your facility. So start tracking these 14 primary KPIs and see the difference it makes in your facility management. And that wraps up our discussion on key performance indicators for facility managers. We've covered what KPIs are, how they differ from metrics, and the top 14 KPIs that every facility manager should be tracking. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. To learn more about how Upkeep can help your maintenance and reliability teams be more successful, 
visit our website at upkeep.com. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.